This is the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 51. It says, Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. For from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided, three against two, and two against three. The father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father, the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. I want to start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to Kalayim La Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Double honors to the apostles and to the elders, the great millstone who do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives. And I'm freedom to do so now more so than ever. Shalom to the Aguathi and Yaakim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations which appear like the other nations. The whom subscribe to the truth. To you, I say Shalom. It's the brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant. Coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and through the power of Yahweh Shimei on Shai. So basically, um, through the spirit, I came across this article. I was looking through my news break app and I had some videos I already had wanted to do some some articles I already want to do some videos on but um something told me to search through it see what happened new today because they were kind of older video um articles and I saw this and it moved my spirit because it showed you the division that's in America um I made mention of that yesterday on uh a video I did, you know, uh, this whole CV created a huge division, which actually is ultimately Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah dividing all these people. And that's why I brought it out. Uh, Matthew 51 say, You think I bring came to bring peace, but I came to bring rather division. You know, uh, talks about it in Matthew chapter uh, 10 about how he came to bring a sword. A sword causes multiple things, you know, death, destruction, but it also can cut things in part, cause division. So uh, we see in the CV division, <laughs> or the CV uh, basically helped to create a division and make a wider gap between the you Babylonians. Um, and you know, the thing is, it's spiritual because you're gonna get it on the left hand and on the right hand side. Like a lot of brothers, when they first come into the truth, the way the Most High will test you is by um, taking you through what, uh, you know, brothers might lose their woman. You know, the children's mother, somebody that they were close to, somebody, you know, uh, you know, to gain his wisdom. I, I've gone through it. Other brothers can attest to going through it. And, you know, that's on the right hand side, but it's going to also happen on the left. You know, uh, we talk about how, you know, we are chastised and it's truth. And those that um, endure chastisement are um, basically are being dealt with by Abanawa like sons you know um but you know you got those that are still in the world that are getting chastised as well they just don't understand why they're getting chastised you know so you're gonna get it regardless you might as well get it and and, and be looked upon as righteous you know because you know talk about the righteous is um looked upon with favor roughly pure. i mean uh, you know scriptures talk about how the moral side is dealing with the righteous he ain't dealing with no unrighteous wicked ass individuals so um I was gonna bring out a little bit of this article and it made me just think of a few different scriptures, mainly that, um, you know, Yahweh Shah bringing division, you know, because uh, ultimately all of this is a will of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. So it says she wanted to vaccinate their kids against CV. He didn't, a judge had to decide and showing you how off this place is, you know, um, a man that's not in your household shouldn't be dictating what's going on in your household. You know, they were married, you know, um, it tells you what um, the Most High brought together to let no man tear apart. You know, that's what the scripture said. You know, and that's show you how full of shit this society is. I was listening to Elder Malcolm today or early this morning, and he was going into how these Edomites quickly want to say how they are for the Bible and how they base supposed to be the laws of this land on the Bible, but then they don't um, judge anything based on the Bible. You know, when they were found in this place, um, you know, they try to use the Bible as the crutch and made it seem like it was the foundation of this place. But, you know, it talks about, um, you know, being rooted. If this place was truly 
founded on the principles of the Bible, we wouldn't be seeing homosexuals and trans um, transvestites and A, B, C, D, E, F, G people walking amongst us. Like fucking, you know, vampires in uh, Brooklyn or, you know, Blade or so, you know. They, but no, shit, they not even in the shadow of Salakia. They actually in plain sight, you know. So it says, um, Salakia. It says, Heather and Norm have had their share of disagreements, their separation seven years ago, and the suing custody battle were, were contentious, contentious. But over the years, the pair has found a way to weather disputes cordially. They've made big decisions together and checked in regularly about their two kids, now ages 9 and 11. And this really makes you understand that this is not the place to actually have kids, you know, especially, man, and the truth, you know, I... Um, Went to high school with uh, some guys, and um, I remember when I first had my kid, I was going through the truth. I mean, you know, going through my trials and tribulations. You know, um, I had been homeless at the time, and um, it's a barber shop that we all frequented. It, um, um, you know, a guy that we know from the neighborhood owns a barber shop, and guys I grew up with and went to school with would go there and frequent it. I was homeless at the time, but I seen a guy I knew, and. Um, you know, we just got to chopping it up. And, you know, I'm embarrassed to a degree, you know, because uh, I wasn't the person he remembered. You know, I wasn't looking that bad, but, you know, he didn't even probably know that I was in my situation, you know. And it was a, a part of being in the truth. But long story short, he, uh, I think I was about like maybe 38 at that time. And he was, I mean, you know, he's my age. So, and he still hadn't had any children. And I, you know, but, you know, now I can understand that, you know, you know, I believe the rapper Too Short also at his age doesn't have any children, you know, and, you know, just seeing, like I say, you can take this woman on as yours and then she could just basically leave with your possessions, have a part of you as far as your children, but you have no power truly to dictate um, what you want for those children. You know, I was told even if you in the household, you know, you really don't have any power over the, the children. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> so, you know, because that mother signing the state, you know, the children over to the state. And, you know, it's just a whole bunch of bullshit that's involved with it. It says, but the rhythm of give and take they so carefully cultivated came to an abrupt end last fall when it came time to decide whether to vaccinate their kids against CV. Heather was for it. Norm was against it. And that's usually how it goes. Like the man was against um, this whole situation and the woman for it because women are easily misled. And they're not going into the names. In Pennsylvania, decisions about children's health must be made jointly by parents with shared legal custody. So the dispute went to court. You know what I mean? Now, they said they was dealing cordially and they both, but they both basically had two different mindsets. And that's going to go further um, not just, you know, um, with this CV, but it's going to go with the, the MOTB, you know, like basically, you know, um, you know, and, and again, I understand why scriptures talk about a woman being effeminate, meaning basically a lack of faith. You know, I was talking to, uh, uh my roomie, you know, and there's certain little vices she has that she's having trouble with, although I know she wholeheartedly believes, but I was trying to explain to her, you know, the most high will work with you. He may even forgive you, but at the end of the day, you know, um, you know, ultimately your walk with the most high is your walk, but you can't look at this thing like it's Christianity and white, white, white boy Jesus, you know, white boy Jesus will let you sin upon sin upon sin, you know, and he going to forgive you. Most high, the how about Shimi Al-Sha expects you to um, basically level up and grow. So if you was doing certain things, he might allow you to get away with it here and there, but you may get judged based on these things. Trust me, I've experienced it, and other brothers have as well. These weirdo ass niggas, man. Salakia. So, so um, Heather and Norm had a nasty divorce. They both say so. Drawing out court battles and arguments that led onto social media last year, last years after their initial separation, and that's usually how it goes in this fucked up ass society because you giving these, giving these. Oh my God, damn demon. Um. So, so anyhow, um, long story short. If it's, uh, so anyway, um, only because of the fact that they give this woman so much um, power. 
in this society. And I can't wait till this power be broken because then you're going to understand that a woman doesn't really have any power. And when it comes to the power uh, of the might of, you, you know, your physical power, you know, the power you possess in your hand, you know, when a woman can't call 911, you know, and, and it's been already shown how men can take the pistol from a woman. So, you know, uh, I'm going to stop it right there. Uh, I'm going to go into some scriptures because at the end of the day, you know, being that um, this devil basically has passed and mandated certain things, but ultimately it's the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah that um, is this division because he wants uh, people to separate. He, um, you know, because basically you're going to have to pick a side. You're going to have a lot of people choose this world over, you know, faith having um, faith in the truth, um, believing in, in the power. You know, a lot of these women's gonna, women going to fold, you know. And that's just the, the fact of the matter. You know, again, I was looking at my roomie, and she was saying how, uh, because of somebody I knew from my past, and she was in a, in, a, in, a, in a situation, and because of the times being hard, you know, and it was ultimately, I, th I believe, truly believe in my spirit that it was the will of Yahweh Shemi Al-Shah because of my current situation, I didn't see the most high doing what he did, but if I wouldn't have made the moves I made, you know, she, I would be looking stupid. So I had to, you know what I mean, you know, I ain't say I'm, I, I, didn't, I ain't gonna say I had to, but it was a smarter decision because like I said, I have children and basically I've been put in a position where I got my kids just kind of thrusted on me after years of chasing after my children. <laughs> You know, and even every time I would come to the conclusion, well, you know what, it's the in the hands of Yahweh Shemi Al Shah, he would do something I didn't expect. And that's why the best thing is to try to just be obedient. You know, that's why Paul said he was a, a slave to Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You know, you know, we trying to, you, you're trying to sit up there and anticipate moves and whatnot. You'll never figure out Yahweh Shemi Al Shah. It's, a, it's in the scriptures that his thoughts are not our thoughts. You know, you can't phantom why would he break up your household because of the fact that woman probably wasn't right it, it, it could be men too as well you got men that call themselves in this truth but are they right you know you know a lot of men i mean i've been here the elder apostles going in on you know just cussing out the camps and certain things because like they said i mean it's a lot of niggas because you have men that bring that nigger spirit from the world into this truth and that that spirit can't like can't stand in this thing, you know. You got to be a humble man in this thing. And I've met some humble brothers, but pride can actually take hold of all of us. And I can speak. I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. So I'm gonna go into the book of uh, Matthew. It's the book of Matthew, chapter ten. Um. I'm going to start at verse 34, Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, which causes division. It causes death and can cause destruction, but it also causes division because you can separate, you can make a cut with a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance. Let's look at what the variance. The word variance means to cut into parts, cleave asunder, sever. Strong's G, 1369. Dechadzo. Dechadzo. And it says, For I am come to set a man at variance, to sever a man against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. So truly it's Yahweh Basham Yahusha is who is causing the division. And a man's foe shall be they of his own household. And like I said again, brothers that come into the truth, we have actually experienced that. I know I have, and I've heard the testimonies of a few different brothers. You got brothers going through it now. Might not go through it when they first came into the truth, but the Lord is taking and trying all of us. That's why it talks about um, through much tribulation that um, we shall enter into the kingdom. You know, it talks about being tried as gold through the fire. You know, so we're gonna have to go through some things. You're gonna go through some things. It ain't gonna. You don't have to, you're going to. And a man's foe shall be they of his household. You know, it's certain accounts where people literally, it was a guy, he looked like a Edomite, that basically because he didn't want to take the CV, his wife called the mental authorities on him and he was put into like a some kind of facility. 
So yeah, this thing real. And you're gonna see more and more of this as the days move more and more along. They already setting up some legislation to come after the you know, the Akim, the brothers. You know, I was wondering, should I even try to, you know, <laughs> call myself getting any kind of, you know, because I was like, you know, my vehicle went out. I'm like, well, should I even subject myself to try to get a vehicle? But then I'm thinking about, like, should I? You know what I mean? Like, shit, you know what I mean? I, I can't see a year or two of this. I can see a lot of shit going on this year, you know, and that's been the, you know, the consensus of a lot of Akim. Uh, with that one being said, uh, where is that in Micah? This is Micah chapter 7. I'm going to start at verse 5. Trust ye not in a friend. Put ye not confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom. And that means, you know, at the end of the day, you can't tell a woman too many different things. You know, at the end of the day, you know, you could be in love with a woman, but you ain't got a pillow talk with her all day. Me and the brother was just speaking on that, you know, a young brother. And that's the truth of the matter. Yo, 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 Eve shouldn't know you know, the ins and outs, like, that's like when the brothers, like, when our, the head, actually, you know, he opens his house up, and when we have events going on with brothers being fellowship and whatnot, he'll do something where we be amongst brothers, but the women will do something separate, because a man and, the, the, you know, the, 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 the brothers Eve shouldn't be up on each other, just like a, a, a female shouldn't know pretty much what's all going on in the camps and whatnot, you know what I mean, you know, there's just certain things that a female shouldn't be privy to, you know, and now, don't get me wrong, we've all pillow talk, you know, but at the same time, you know, uh, yeah, women, you know, uh, basically crave power. It shows you that that uh, show, Game of Thrones, you know, she envied men, you know. She wish she had, you know, penis power, you know. And you see that today, penis envy. So a woman to take something that you give her and utilize it against you. And they've done it all. You know, brother said it. I forgot the what elder, uh, but Dr. Zakba from South Carolina, he said literally the Eve that he came to the truth with was trying to hit him with scriptures and cut him with scriptures that he showed her. <laughs> and that's how I be. My demon has done it to me. That's just nature of a lot of women. You know, you very rarely catch a humble woman, you know, a contrite, humble woman. And that's why Proverbs 31 talks about a virtuous woman. But you rarely catch a humble man. You know, you got me in that display humble qualities. You know, I've met some humble men in this truth. You know, call lawyer, like y'all, but y'all I can actually say, you know, um, a lot of the men I've met, I've never really met the elders except for one elder, which was Elder Big Gad. Shalom to the elder. But otherwise, um, you know, and he was humble, you know. But, you know, that that takes years, you know what I mean? Like, the, the, I, 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 I can believe that all the elders are, elder apostles are, are very humble men, you know, because you learn to be humbled in this thing when the Most High takes you through things. You know, I was brought real low. You know, I had, my, my life was to be homeless. And I constantly tell brothers, you know, because they went through situations, was thinking about going to these shelters, and I try to explain to them, maybe that ain't your lot. My lot was that because of, you know, me, you know, my pride. So the Lord had to bring me real low. It says, verse uh, 6, For the son dishonoreth the father, the daughter riseth up against her mother, the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's enemies are the men of his own house. And women, you know, it's going to be your own house that turn against you. It tells you that, um, and I just read it in Matthew chapter 10, verse 36. Uh, uh, the foes of a man will be of his own household. And like I said, you, you, these people are going to uh, turn on you, especially when the persecution comes. Like, believe that. Brothers whose families didn't completely agree with this thing are going to be quick. You know, I was listening to the brother from Italy say that. You know, he was talking about how, you know, guy was speaking on him. I mean, you know, some some guy he knew was speaking on him. I mean, you know, within his little, you know, where he stay at all that, you know, that he was talking about how the persecution gonna come. So yeah, um, with all that being said, you know, because uh, especially due to the fact that people, um, you know, love this world, you know, it talks about the love of this world. It, it, you know, it's just scriptures that talk about the love of this world. You know, you uh, people loving this, the, the, uh, trying to hold on to their life 
and they are gonna lose their life trying to hold on to it. But those that's gonna give up this life are gonna keep it or or, or be, save their life. So yeah, um, just watch more and more division come. You know, because as the world is being divided, because you basically you know it's a spiritual div division. So again, it's not of necessarily Esau Edom or even your own um, personal uh, feelings that you think you have. It's all basically boils down to the will of Yahweh Shem Yahusha. You know, separating his, the sheep from the goats, you know. So if you're a so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Um, or you shall be destroyed. And with that, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to God. Loyim, La Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rachak, with us, Bukatam. Double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone, who do well. Peace and salutations to the Akim, across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so, now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwa, the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of the nations appearing like the other nations with whom subscribe to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. Till next time, I'm able to come with another lesson. Shalom, Shalom. Wa'akhla b'vah.